Howdy folks, John here. In today's video, we're going to be attempting to repair this little 3.5 gallon parts washer. I say attempting because I really don't know how this one's going to go. We're dealing with a fairly big unknown with it. These things, if you're not familiar, they have a little recirculating pump in them that pumps a um, degreasing fluid onto whatever part you want to clean. Anyone who's subscribed to my channel or watched any of my videos, this thing's probably been shown a few times uh, when I'm doing a repair. I use it on small engines, um, RC helicopter parts, bike chains, bike bearings, and really bearings of any sort, wheel bearings. That's where these things really work well. You know, you can put the little nozzle that's coming out of the recirculating pump to uh, flush out the bearing cage and it just makes it go a lot quicker and a lot more efficient and a lot better job. You know, if you've ever been washing parts in an old coffee can with degreaser or a pickle jar, I think you can appreciate uh, how uh, well these work. I've had this one for about 25 years, but the recirculating pump finally crapped out after all that time. And uh, yeah, I went to uh, order a new pump. They do have replacements. So put the new pump in, lasted three months. And I'm going to show you what happened to it, a cautionary tale of why it uh, you're thinking of getting one of these or getting a replacement pump and then I'm going to show you my attempted more permanent fix. Let's get into it. <laughs> How's this for yummy sludge? Okay, with all the sludge cleaned out of this thing, I'll kind of show you where the pump lives and how to get to it and what the problem with the pump is. So. The pump is just held in with this little bracket that's welded or spot welded into the bottom. And as you can see on this pump, like I said, the first one lasted for pretty much 25 years. This one, three months, it completely dissolved. Now here's the important uh, caveat that you should know about. All these new pumps and even most of these new uh, 3.5 gallon washers, at least anything I've looked at, they're specifically saying now that you have to use a water-based degreaser. You can't use a solvent-based. I've always used uh, Varsol or um, kerosene. It's all I've ever used. So I just figured, well, the pump is the same. I even purchased it from the same place that I purchased this pressure washer from. It looked identical, but the plastic, it's hard to tell here, but it just turned to mush and the little uh, impeller bushings they're made of this rubber they were basically gum when i took them out well they're cracking now uh, my old pump what it actually failed on it was the impeller itself uh, what i should have done in hindsight and this is a tip if you've got your old pump that you have been using in solvent and it's fine and the impeller's shot if you got a new pump just swap out the impeller from the new one into your old pump and you'll probably be fine like I said, the oil, old pumps were great. And here's just another example of the uh, shittification of everything. You know, what used to work no longer does. Doo doo! <laughs> Caca. Shit. And you might be thinking, well, I'll just use water based solvents. I'm sorry. Uh, I've tried using water-based solvents. They just don't work for me. The only time I've had success with water-based solvents was in the old shop where we had a parts washer with a heater in it. And the water-based uh, degreaser was heated to quite a high temperature, then it worked fine. But of course, for a little home 3.5 gallon washer, that's just not an option. So my solution, I found these little diesel transfer pumps. They're good for diesel or oil or Varsol, even water. They are a submersible pump, so I figured that would work. They're very inexpensive. No idea on the longevity of these. If anyone's used these before, it'd be not interesting to know what the lifespan is. If this works, what I'm going to do in the uh, description and in the first pinned comment, I'm going to leave an update every uh, three, six months, whatever, just to let you know how it's continuing to work. And if it fails, obviously, I'll uh, let you know that. But if you've got one of these, you use solvent-based cleaners, <laughs> you've melted a new replacement pump, this might be an option. By the way, I did look for solvent-safe pumps for uh, parts washers, and yeah, they cost more <laughs> than 
these little 3.5 gallon parts washers and they're just too big to fit in here. I've got to try to literally fit a round peg into a square hole. I'm gonna to have to come up with a way to mount this. The other thing is these are 12 volts, so I'm not gonna be able to just plug this into a wall outlet. I'm gonna to have to use a little um, 12 volt adapter. They're only uh, about uh, two amps though, so they don't draw much current. And I suppose if I wanted to, I could even use this out in the bush with a 12 volt battery. So here's my convoluted plan. I'm gonna use a half inch copper elbow, which slides nicely over the hose barbed bib of this transfer pump. This is for 5 8 inch uh, ID hose. So the little uh, copper elbow fits fine. I'll probably epoxy it on. Probably gonna shorten the barb so I can have the elbow right close to the uh, outlet plate of the pump. And we'll just uh, use some half inch copper pipe on there. Of course, I'm gonna have to trim this down to the right height. And then I've got a half inch sweat to half inch male NPT thread fitting. And then I've got another little fitting to uh, reduce that down to a quarter inch male thread, which the gooseneck will thread onto. And I've also found this uh, little uh, angle bracket that I'm gonna use to mount it. I'm actually gonna solder the copper right onto the angle bracket. That way the uh, bracket will be supporting the elbow and not the pump. And then I don't know if I'm gonna weld this in the bottom of the tank, uh, bolt it in or uh, solder it in. Still gotta figure that out. I'm just gonna quickly uh, put it together and we're gonna pump some water through it to see what the flow rate is like. These are rated at about 2.2 uh, gallons per minute flow rate. Just powering it with a little 3S LiPo battery, which is about 12 volts. Let's just switch it on and see if it works. Well, it makes noise. That's a good sign. Okay. So I don't have anything uh, soldered or sealed here, but hopefully we can see if this will work. Oh, that's, well, that's good flow. It's about what, uh, what we had from the original pump. I think it'll work. Yeah, so here's a time I wish the parts washer was working. Could clean all this flux off. Polarity is obviously important, otherwise the pump will run backwards. On this pump anyway, and if whatever pump you get, just make sure you confirm 
which is the positive and which is the negative on this uh, 12 volt inlet the outside is the negative so on this one the blue is the negative and brown is the positive so I've got the negative of the um, 5525 barrel jack connector uh, down at the back here positive is up here so we've got to hook the negative down on this terminal there we go and the brown is the positive going to this terminal so the idea is now i can power this from a 12 volt dc wall transformer as long as it's got a 5525 barrel jack on it positive in the center negative on the outside or i can also power it in this case with a battery the pump is pretty much submerged let's try it out wow it works and that flow is roughly the same as the uh, other pump or the original pump so I'm happy with that see if the uh, strainer plate fits. Make sure I welded those screws in the right position. Yeah, I checked. Good stuff. Well, seems to be working great. Of course, the unknown is, can those little uh, inexpensive submersible diesel pumps last in a submerged uh, state? Please leave comments below if you've got any uh, experience with those. And uh, yeah, I'll have links again in the description if you want to check out these little parts washers or the uh, pump if you want to give this a try yourself if you've got one of these that is crapped out. Yeah, and that bracket is nice and strong. It's not going anywhere. So hopefully that gave you some ideas if you want to uh, try a different type of pump for your little 3.5 gallon parts washer and uh, you use uh, primarily solvent-based uh, degreasers. Thanks for watching, folks, and until next time, happy parts washing.